I don't know if a million people go out to the end of Concourse A, but it's probably hundreds of thousands of people every year. The piece at the airport was really important in my career because so many people go to the airport. That was when I started to see that people, they would go, oh, you did that thing at the airport. And that was probably the biggest thing I, I have ever done or ever will do. I got started as an artist because my mom was a painter and uh, she didn't have the opportunity to be a professional artist, uh, but she valued it. So I grew up around it. I really always liked drawing and painting and clay and whatever was around, I did it. I got a, a BA degree at Evergreen and I had a summer job in a stained glass studio and they suggested that I research glass painting. I thought that sounded fun and I did and that changed my life. I found it to be an incredibly uh, wonderful material and a lot of it was happening in the Northwest so it kind of gave me an entrance into a very uh, supportive community of people working with glass. It gave me the opportunity to innovate in it because I, I, I taught myself. Grisaille is a black drawing on colored glass. Grisaille, it's a French word and it means gray tonal painting. The first layer is line work and it gets painted on with a tracing brush. It, it has a particular character of, of line and you'll see it in medieval stained glass. The enamels are glass powder with metal oxides. Mix it into a paint, paint the lines, and then it's fired in a kiln so that, that enamel melts. A wash of black is applied and then that's worked subtractively with dry brushes. It pokes holes in the, in the paint and light comes through. Establishing tonality and pattern. I've been painting on glass for not quite 50 years. I did stained glass for the first 10 or 12 years. That is uh, one of my early pieces and it is called Bahram Gur Kills a Dragon. That's really how I taught myself to work with glass paint. I had a visit one day from a couple of artists and short, uh, shortly after that, Dale Chihuly visited my studio. <laughs> and because I was uh, working with enamels, which was unusual with glass, I kind of got welcomed in. I started working on vessel forms. So that, I bumped into the glass blowers at Pilchuck. So there've been this kind of 10 year periods where uh, a shift occurs and there's a little wind in your sails because you're, you're exploring something new. And after uh, about 10 years of working with vessels, I had an opportunity to do a big commission at SeaTac. This is kind of the period when I was doing public art. Glass is a good material for working in public art. It doesn't take up a lot of space. You have to have it anyway, and it has a big impact because it's light bearing. There's a, a, a big window at the Evergreen State College, and that one's titled, I Imagine Us as a Holy Family, Engaging in the Great Work of Increasing the Light. World cultures uh, and religions in the image, and it's a garden. I want to pull people in with these ideas. I've always been drawn to early work from many cultures, medieval painting or Mexican folk art or a Persian miniature or a Russian folk print. And I feel incredibly lucky to be here because glass also ended up being an incredibly, you know, rich uh, vein here in the Seattle area. And so I kind of lucked out. <laughs> One 
of my favorite pieces actually it turns out is the, um, the big window at the airport. It's called I Was Dreaming of Spirit Animals. The scale of it is monumental and actually to have had the opportunity to work at that scale was so exciting. Uh, there wasn't a lot of glass being done architecturally in public art in, in this area. So I kind of was one of the early ones. And I went to Germany and I fabricated. Wilhelm Derricks, whose company it was, uh, I was asking him how we were gonna do it. He said, three painters, three months, something like that. We made it and it was so much fun. Thematically, it's the northern constellations, the animals of the northern constellations, and then there's a tower house where uh, there's a, a couple dreaming, and uh, it's, it's me and my husband, Charlie. It's based on some dreams that I'd had when I had my first studio about animals at that time. The Pisces constellation is a pair of dolphins, which I, I dreamt of. It makes me feel good when I see it, and I see people enjoying it. As a, as a maker, I, I'm impressed by it. As a curator, I'm impressed by it. And I'm sure like, if I had none of those skills, as just somebody who's interested in the storytelling ability that she kind of has with this, and the whimsical nature of the work, it's, it's just hard not to be pulled into it. There was a little girl there. There's, so there's a tower house with a, with a red door and, and stairs. And I saw her go up to it and try to step into the house. So it was like, oh my God, it was like, yes. It, because that's really what I wanted. It was a big enough scale that you could actually be inside the picture. It worked for her. <laughs> I think art is something that can actually make a difference. I want to make a difference in how people feel. See more of Cappy's work on her website and at Traver Gallery, located at First and Union in downtown Seattle. Catch Art Zone Friday nights at 8 and anytime online at seattlechannel.org slash artzone.